Good morning, Mustangs. It is an S4 day, and the lunch today is nachos with seasoned meat, cheese sauce, and tortilla chips. The SAT word of the day is innovate, to make something new, change, or create. Now, just sit back and relax, because NHS Update starts right now. Welcome to the show. I'm Danny Sullivan. And I'm Sadie Kral. Attention seniors, the senior survey is now available online at nordyearbooklounge.com. Click on the senior survey tab at the top and answer the questions. Submissions end this Friday. There is also a list outside of room 355 of people who did not submit their senior portraits. Please notify Ms. Trelor if there has been an error. Also a reminder to reserve your copy of the yearbook by February 1st. Now to a story about a student in a very special setting. Here's Karina Santiago and Ronnie Marshall see with the story. What day of the week? Wednesday. Good job, so let's circle Wednesday. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. There's an interesting program offered at Norwood High School, and Sam Shea has added it to her schedule for her senior year. I take for an elective the special ed setting for high school students, which no one else in the school takes, and no one has taken it since my freshman year, so the teachers are really excited that they have someone else in the classroom now. Having Sam be in here just gives us an extra hand, and she works so well with them. She knows all of the things they can do, what they can't do, what they need help with. Um, so it's definitely been a big, big help to have her in here. Sam spends her time in the classroom helping the kids with basic skills that other students may not learn every day. We um, play board games that helps them um, determine how much a bill is worth or how much a coin is worth. It's helpful for them to be able to see it and then also be able to use the pen and like have the hands-on interaction with the board. Sam has realized while being in the classroom that high school students take advantage of their everyday privileges. The fact that we get to go to six periods a day with six different teachers and always be able to walk around and stuff like that we definitely take for granted because they do the same schedule every day with the same teachers and the simple tasks that we do every day like getting dressed or opening your locker some things that they struggle with that we don't even think twice about doing. She doesn't just take the class to teach the kids. She's also learning from them herself. They brighten my day and I can just tell on their faces that I brighten theirs. Like It just makes me feel better and I know that it makes them feel better to be able to have another person to interact with. For Mustang Magazine, I'm Karina Santiago. Today. Thanks, guys. Any student who received honor roll for the first term is entitled to a free admission pass to NHS basketball and wrestling events. Please stop by the athletic office. Attentional National Honor Society inductees. The induction ceremony is today, January 14th at 4 p.m. in the auditorium. If you are being inducted into the society but cannot attend the ceremony, please see Mrs. Crimmings or Miss Newman today. Now here's Brian Curley with your sports update. Good morning, Mustangs. Yesterday, the boys' hockey team lost to Weymouth 6-1 with a goal from Joe Spadorsha, while the girls' hockey team lost to Weymouth 3-2, and the wrestling team fell to Newton North last night 34-19. For games today, the boys' and girls' track teams have a meet against Milton at the Reggie Lewis Center at 4.30. Well, that's all I have for today. Now back to the desk. Well, that's all we have today for us as well. Be sure to check us out at mustang.media or hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Have a great day, Mustangs.